Them later still in the Sienjo? The general nearly released them outright, but that was then. If memory serves, the Sienjo only revoked Kafka's arrest warrant. Blade is still a wanted criminal. To be honest, I can never figure out what those Stellaron hunters are up to, especially that Kafka. But my intuition tells me she won't do anything to harm you. If she's really in trouble, it'd be best to go see her. Really? So she's still on the Sienjo? Me? I'd suggest you go yourself. Even if you don't want any more dealings with her, it's best to say that to her in person. Reading this message, it seems like she may really need your help. As a passenger of the Express, I don't want anything to do with the Stellaron Hunters. But she does have a deep connection with you. Based on her actions so far, it seems like she has no ill will towards you. If it were me seeking help from someone in a time of crisis, I'd sure hope they showed up in person. So, do as you see fit. I don't think Kafka intends to do you harm. In commission? That's a bold decision. Should be around here somewhere. <laughs> I knew you would come. says he's Mara struck. If we had Elio's eyes, the world would not appear as it does to you and I. There are myriad possibilities overlapping one another, representing the consequences of different choices, and in every passing moment, an infinite number of choices converge on the same point and become the present, and then become the past. So, was this your choice? To respond to my request for help? I do. Blade is in a prickly situation. On the Sienjo, you're the only one I can turn to. Being stricken with Mara is the inescapable destiny of the long-life species. 
It is a madness triggered by the accumulation of emotions and memories. Blade doesn't remember much, but the Mara still haunts him in some form. After we arrived on the Sienjo, the Mara in him flared up so violently that even my spirit whisper couldn't suppress it. He's not fit for interstellar travel in this state. My plan is to use Spirit Whisper to temporarily seal the Mara by reducing its potency. I need to focus all my concentration, so I'll be vulnerable for some time. I need you to protect me while I suppress Blade. I know when danger will come and what form it will take. Don't worry. Together we can do this. No harm will come to you. Now... There are wandering monsters nearby. They'll spell trouble if we let them hang around. Go take care of them. Your victory is certain. Guard. A flint on blaze. Forward. Conflict is pitiless. That's rich. Too late to repent. It's time. Follow my charge. Here, the thunder. Reach the end of the story in your own way. What would? of the weight behind this path. Survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. <laughs> Time for... Show no mercy. It's time. <laughs> Conflict is hideous. like a time. It's good to open my eyes and see you back here. Mm, not fast enough. I've weakened Blade's senses to the outside world so that he's only able to hear my voice and feel my touch. He's oblivious to everything else. I'm going to transfer his consciousness away from the Sienjo and cleanse his memories of Jing Yuan, Jing Liao, In Sing, and your friend, Don Hong. Again, this process mustn't be interrupted, but I can answer questions before I begin. Yes, as compensation for helping me. You don't have any questions? I put you into a deep sleep and then reawakened you, abandoned you at the space station, then lured you to the Sienjo. I owe you an explanation or two. Don't you want to know? Oh, don't rush. We still have time. Think about it first and ask when you're ready. One rule, though. Please don't ask anything boring. 
Let's play Truth and Lies. It's a game I play with Silverwolf all the time. Kinda psychological. Both sides ask each other two questions, then give one true answer and one false answer each. So, one of my answers will be true, the other will be false. As for which is which, that's up to the asker to make the call. We don't have much time. Let's do two rounds to start. You ask me two questions, and you'll also have to answer two of mine. But remember, one truth, one lie. Oh, that's not allowed. The game only works when both sides follow the rules, and I'll be none the wiser if you break them. Let morality be your guide. But I give you my word. I will abide by the rule of one truth, one lie. I'll go first to give you a demo. Oh, don't be nervous. The first question is quite trivial. You can tell the truth or tell a lie. It's the second question where the game gets interesting. My first question is, what do you think about me? Huh? What do I think about Kafka? Uh, how should I answer? If I tell the truth, I have to lie the next time and vice versa. Or I could just cheat. Uh, is that really an option? Better to tell it like it is. Hmm. And there you have it. It's a pretty simple game, don't you think? <laughs> You're hiding your feelings well. Uh, I'm afraid we'll have to put our game of truth and lies on pause. The Cloud Knights are here. I need you to help me get rid of them. That won't work, no matter how hard you try. This conflict is inevitable. It's destiny. Don't hesitate. It's time. Conflict is pitiless. Leave it to me. Trifling. That won't stop. Too late to repent. Reach the end of the story in your own way. See, the future always seems like infinite possibilities, but what is destined to happen will always happen. This conflict is inevitable because the other possibilities don't exist. I need to use the Spirit Whisper on Blade again, but let's play another round first. Have you thought of your question? 
Come to me when you're ready. I can wait. That's Blade. Kafka says he's Mara struck. The game continues. Your turn. So, I get two questions, only one of which Kafka will answer truthfully. But I won't know which answer is which. What should I ask? When I came to on the space station, I remember seeing Kafka. But everything before that is a blur. Shouldn't I ask about my past? You? At first, you were a being accidentally created by an eon, with a body, but no soul. Elio guided me to you and you were given a soul. There's nothing to say about your past. You only remember me because I was the one with you when your soul was born. And that's all there is to it. No matter what she says, she looks like she's got something up her sleeve. I can't tell what's true and what isn't. I see the look on your face. Don't bother asking. I can't tell you if an answer is true or not. Make your best guess and choose your next question based on my answer. That's the beauty of the game. I hope your next question proves interesting. The rules of this game are like reality. We all think we have infinite possibilities, but when you really analyze it, you could count them on your fingers. Every question and answer is constrained by previous choices. The future is like a labyrinth. Every divergence is merely an inducement. There is only one real path. Do I sound that negative? <laughs> no. We believe that existence has meaning. But that meaning is bestowed by ourselves, not by choices. If you don't believe me, try it for yourself. Soon we will face another battle. Can you change that possibility? I commend. Oh. That's the second time you've evaded the possibility of a battle. You really do want to change my prediction, don't you? But the future is still clear. The real test lies ahead. The young swordmaster of the Cloud Knights. He will not be an easy foe. Until then, let's continue our game. It's my turn again. <laughs> Second question. Do you want to see me again? Uh, what kind of question is that? 
And will we see each other again? She'd know the answer to that one. As for whether I'd want to, it seems obvious to me. I guess I do want to see her again. So, my answer is... Mm. <laughs> okay, I'm done asking. What a surprise. I can't say through you. It's your turn to ask a question. Come see me when you're ready. This is your last question. Surprise me. I don't know if Kafka was telling the truth in the previous question, but one thing's certain. For this question, she'll have to answer according to the rules. Should I venture into a whole new topic? Kafka wants me to surprise her. Let's try this on for size. Uh, uh. No. Stellaron hunters, the general was merciful enough to let you live. But you haven't shown the slightest bit of gratitude. Uh, uh, why are you here? Because he was struck by my spirit whisper. My powers of suggestion are capable of convincing people to accept my orders. All without a second thought. Defeat this little boy and your mission is over. You witch! Move carefully. The truth of life in the sanctuary is but a vision. Lance at the ready. Hit. Come get me. Lance the blaze. If it weren't for you, that kid would have had me and Blade in the shackling prison in no time. Of course, Sam and Silverwolf would have broken us out, but Blady would have been gravely injured, and our relationship with the Sienjo would have been damaged beyond repair. 
If possible, I'd like to avoid that kind of future at all costs. Can I leave now? Yes. The Mara in you is temporarily suppressed. So long as you avoid overstimulation and familiar faces, you shouldn't have a problem. Wait. You're not leaving? I am sorry, Kafka. There is a person, a person to whom I am greatly indebted. I must see them. Then it's in your hands. Elio didn't say anything about what happens next. Thank you for coming to my aid. I appreciate it. Our paths will cross again. Mm. I remember you. You once followed Kafka, didn't you? There was a time when she was on a mission. You were next to her. I remember. I've yet to see anyone follow her for as long as you did, and live to tell the tale. <laughs> Every Stellaron hunter has a deal with Elio. I do not know the nature of those deals, but I do know that Kafka and I agreed to take orders from Elio. She must have sought something extraordinary. Everything she does comes at a great cost. She will have done many things to keep you alive until now, young one. 